start with some finger exercises. Scales. Another black coffee delivers acceleration. Fingers go haywire instantly. Just kangaroo lawyers mesmerize novices, open the parroting queens. Ranty sailors turn uninitiated vicars with xenophobes, yodel zanity. Zoning yellowed x-rays with violet undertones throughout seems risky. Queuing patiently overnight might leave matter joints. Important, hold gamely. Fleeing early doors can't be advised. Altar boys come delayed. Elderly foreigners gazump high infidels just kissing. Later, Mustachioed nationalists officially publish quibbles, reciprocate. Sensing trouble, unstable volunteers write X, yelling Tutman. Zoology yields xerographic work. Voicing unease, tired sophomores retract questions. Parents odiously networking more leverage, kowtow. Janitors investigate honorary guests. Females below, defying common betrothal agendas. Assist early constables during erotic fanfares. Go hunting illegally. Jeer kettle lovebirds. Meet new orators praising quangos. The speeches totally undermining visiting workers, X-rated yogis, zippers. Zero year Christmas went viral. Unnameable tribes seeking ratification qualified poetry's objectives. Nobody mentioned liberty. Knowing journalists inadvisably halted <coughs> gleeful fictions. Erstwhile desperate capitalists banked again. I want to read a couple of poems from my book, Spitting Out the Mother Tongue. Um, First uh, is lingua franca. When they dig to determine my constitution, I never know what terms they'll hit, where I come from, or the place I grew up in. Family or origins, we or they, invasion, war, or intervention. Refugee or displaced, country, land or state, migrant or exile. Are nationalities or citizenships clearly superseded by others? Do they blend into an atonal fuzz? Or do I hold all colors in me like a rainbow or white light? Do I belong everywhere or anywhere? <coughs> what does my tongue sound like? How far or deep do my traditions or mythologies go? The Cheeses of Cyprus. In the rugged interior, shepherds have continued to keep goats and sheep through centuries of conflict, making cheese in the same way as their forefathers. Halloumi is a cooking cheese. Its character is only revealed when eaten. It holds its shape when fried or grilled. When slices of it are placed in a hot pan, the outside becomes crisp and slightly charred, while the center melts. It's now popular among young chefs in Australia, New Zealand, and the west coast of America. Halloumi is also made in the Lebanon and Romania. Other cheeses common in Cyprus are the Greek feta and cascavali, related to the Bulgarian kacchkaval and the Italian cacciocavallo. <laughs> um, <coughs> my book Muses Walk, the, the artist book that uh, Stephen mentioned, is um, a book I made in response to a call uh, by the um, Project and Inventory of Al Mutanabi Street, um, commemorating the, the bombing a 
decarboning of um, Baghdad's street of booksellers. And um, for it, I took a poem from the previous book that attempts to write a street in central Nicosia in the late 70s, early 80s. And I uh, did my own explosion on it um, by taking each of its lines and making a title and a starting point for a new poem. Um, being an artist book has a visual element as well, but I'd like to read the text of a couple of these uh, poems, which, uh, some of which have very long titles. The family running the coffee shop had pink faces and arms permanently boiling, except for the eldest son, who was out when the stove exploded, kicking his ball against the wall of the school for girls. A cloth lay on the street, a jumper crumpled and sooty black. Someone said it belonged to their father. It seemed too small to be his. In the street's collective mind, the coffee was left to boil too long. Straight, sketos, moderate, <coughs> medios, sweet, gligis, extra sweet, Paris gligis. Translations are as clunky as the old stove. The mother wept, bemoaned her lock, skin dripping from her face. For weeks, the sight remained untouched. Then they returned. They cleared up and fixed the shop and started serving again. Their new skins set, features spelling sorrow. Troop players arrive at the theater in the corner. Masks on a ring, a theater of pain, is tragic comedy. Marriage, body politic, discomfits, a huge mole on his cheek, and her lesbian tendencies mocked. Cheap laughs, vulgar and cleansing, respectable children discouraged from laughing, street kids reveling in misfortune. And I will finish with um, a poem which is a combination of a found uh, poem and uh, process poem in, in, in the sense that I perform a process on the found piece of text. Um, um, I, I take um, some of the words and use synonyms in each individual, in each successive uh, stage um, to, to change it to something, something um, slightly unrecognizable. Um, it's called Why I Live in Egypt. And it is, um, I have to say, it's a response to the work of the artist Nick Pearson. Hi, Nick. Hello. <laughs> Why I live in Egypt. The lifestyle here is very simple. I start my day with coffee and fruit on the beach in the morning. And then either work on the beach talking to people about the diving courses, or take a group out and guide them through the corral. In the evenings, the whole working community gathers to play pool have a simple dinner, maybe falafel or Egyptian pizza, and watch The Simpsons at 6 p.m. Some things are the same all over. <laughs> the lifestyle here is easily understood, uncomplicated, and humble. My day starts on the beach in the company of coffee and fruit, and at that time I work talking to human beings about courses in plunging steeply downwards or disabled groups and guide them so as to inspect all or part of the core. In the evenings, the extent of a functioning community gathered to cooperate in pool, own simple dinner, maybe falafel or Egyptian pizza, and clock the Simpsons at six post-mortem. Some personal belongings are personal belongings all end. The elegance of biography in this place is easily understood, straightforward, and of low rank. A particular period of my past jumps on the edge of the sea in the commercial business of coffee and fruit, and at that period I campaign, talking to human livings around roots in plunging exaggeratedly towards a lower point, or put crops out of action and control them, so as to examine all for the role of the coral. In the evenings, the degree of the functioning society infer to cooperate in a common fund, own low intelligence dinner, maybe Arab pepper or Egyptian Italian pie, and clock the family at six post-mortem. At least a small amount of private belongings, of personal belongings, any whatever end. The elegance of my story at this time is understood easily, and it is also moving straight ahead. 
but I am of low rank. A certain period of my past leaps forth to the edge of the sea, to the business of coffee and fruit. During that period, I campaigned to men in living through the route of thrusting quickly towards a point of lower levels to put related people out of action and control them. Thus, I could examine everyone for the role of the chorus. At the conclusion, the level of functioning in the society leads to cooperating into a low intelligence common fund to owning all, maybe Arab, Egyptian, and Italian food. Crop the family at Cosmortem 6. At least an amount of their belongings are belongings, whatever the end. The beauty of my story is now easy to see, advancing sharply even though I'm of low worth. A certain period from my past leaps to the forefront of memories. The time I was in the businesses of coffee and fruit. Then I campaigned to men of surviving through the principle of pushing lower qualities to incapacitate and control brothers. In so doing, I examined everyone for the role of collaborator. In the end, the low level of activity and intelligence in society leads to my ownership of the common fund, perhaps southern and eastern thought too. Count the families, and at least after the sixth death, an amount of the belongings becomes movable possession, however they die.